Hi there, welcome to Checkfire. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use HTTP API with Checkfire. First, click on API channels from the left panel and click HTTP API from the top bar. Choose Facebook HTTP API. Click on Create. Here, I picked up Brevo for HTTP API testing. Fill up the details of API connection. Choose Post as method and copy one subscriber ID from subscriber manager from the left panel. Place that inside the test subscriber ID. Select and copy the endpoint URL from the Brevo API documentation page. Go to the header data and click the tiny add button from the right side. Type content as type in the key field and leave header type as static value and write application slash JSON all lowercase in the header value field. Click on the same add button again and type API hyphen key in the key field. Leave header type as static value and let's create our API key from Brevo. Go to app.brevo.com. Click on the right menu and select SMTP and API. Go to API keys tab. Click on generate a new API key. Name it as your own and copy the API key. Go back to check Pion and paste that key inside the header value. Now go to body data and click JSON as format. Paste the sample JSON script inside the body field which you will find in the video description. Replace hash email hash with the hash lead underscore user underscore email from the body variables. Just copy and paste it. Click on the verify connection button. Wait a bit. Go down and click the load data button inside the raw data section. You will see something in the raw data. It could be just two square brackets like this or may say unable to find variables you might see or some ID value. This is okay and move forward to the next step. Click on save API button. Now go to bot manager and create a new flow. I have deleted my test flow here. Give your trigger word and title for the flow. Then select user input flow, double click it and choose add new input flow from the menu. Write your campaign name and click done. It will generate a new question box. Double click to open it. Turn on free keyboard input and type your question. Go to save to system field menu and choose email. As we picked up system value in the HTTP API, click save. Click on final replay from the flow, choose text and write your thank you message. From the next flow, select compose a message and click on HTTP API. Double click it and choose the new HTTP API you created earlier. Now go back and test the HTTP API. Go back to Brevo and refresh your contacts list. You will see the email has been added here. This is how you can use the HTTP API with Chatpion.